Hi, everyone. Welcome to the WNBA on 2K Sports. We'll watch the Indiana Fever in this one as they go up against the Chicago Sky. With analysts Brian Vanifatemi and Tim Swartz, I'm Blake Suniga, we and we're glad to have you with us. And it's going to be the Sky off the tip. And already, Brian, we're seeing a changing of the guard on some teams where a new player is now the number one option. And you just never know who comes back from the offseason with an improved game. You know, maybe it's better athleticism. Maybe they added a three-point shot. But the great thing about sports, really, is new players step up every year. Yeah, and on the other end, you just don't know what player is nursing an injury, what players might be on the downswing of their careers. But the truth comes out in this game, and it comes out quick in the WNBA. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And the first one at the line is good. Well, you look at the Indiana Fever, even though they've struggled lately, the franchise, it certainly is a successful one. Never really had long stretches of not being competitive. Uh, the team has shown they will not settle for being a bottom feeder in the league. Both shots good from the stripe. And the success you talked about with the Fever, it shows up in their playoff appearances. Well, the Fever made the playoffs every year from 2005 to 2016, and that postseason streak is one of the longest in any American sport. And really, sustained success like that is really rare for any professional team. The Shields, defended by Laney. Left side to Shields. From downtown, here's Dolson, and the layup is good. Another reason you want Dolson on your team. She can turn a missed basket into points. Tremendous effort on the boards. Now here's Wheeler. Here's Mitchell. The shot, no good. Nice D from Ali Quigley. That shot missing. And so the Fever will take it the other way. Outside to Pre. Right here, right here. Outside Wheeler. Laney on the wing. Six on the shot clock. Fires the three. Indiana again missing. Three misses to start the game. They're still trying to break the seal. And that one good. Now you can see why she is the best career assist average in WNBA history. Vandersloot, she really just sets up open shots, leads the easy points. Pass to Mitchell. Again, the miss by the Fever. To the middle. Dolson. Yes, and it's Allie Quigley picking up the assist. It's really a sign of a great player. Doesn't let a, a bump here. Contact there. Stopper. Nice job by Dolson. Here's Mitchell. And she gets contact and the whistle on the shot. Two free throws coming up. And that's going to be a foul on Chicago. Well, guys, we all know going from college to the WNBA just isn't an easy transition. Just ask Kelsey Mitchell. The speed of the game threw her off a bit at first, but she learned to be patient and trust the process. She's off on the first. Yeah, and despite the difficult adjustment to the pro game, uh, Mitchell's potential remains through the roof. I wish I could say the same about your potential, Blake, but Mitchell is someone that's shown great flashes as a scorer and distributor, and her learning curve has allowed her to formulate a game plan and play in attack mode. I see her as a difference maker that'll be around for a while. First quarter of basketball, just over two and a half minutes played so far. 
Outside to Shields. The Fever pull it in. Pass to Mitchell. And it's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. The second overall pick by the Fever in 2018. Mitchell came into the WNBA with a reputation as an incredible scorer. Over her college career, she averaged 24 and a half points per game. First free throw is good. Second free throw, no good. Outside, Williams. Pass to DeShields. Vandersloot. And here's Williams. She's covered by Mitchell. And Williams gets it to go. That's just great ball movement. And that's key this run. Passing it with a purpose. The D has not been able to keep up. Now here's Mitchell. Now here's Achanwa. Vandersloot defending. Mitchell shots good. Oh, they needed that one. Their first make in five attempts to start this game. First quarter of play and just over three and a half minutes in. Pass to Vandersloot. Williams. Five on the clock. Another shot. The shot comes out. Great D that time from Candace Dupree. And here is Mitchell. With some arc. Rejected by Cheyenne Parker. Here's Dupree. And the bucket counts. And she is on her way to the line to try to make it a three-point play. First trip to the free throw line for her tonight. Well, I know it's rare to see Biggs shoot efficiently from the line, but Dupree is an expert at hitting free throws. Now here's Vandersloot. He hasn't yet put up any points in this one. And it's Wheeler with the foul. That is her first foul of the game. Outside, Parker. Down low. Here's Vandersloot. And Laney pulls it down. Rebounding is going to be a focal point for them in this one, fellas. Yeah, Brian, it has been so far. They've already got a nice edge on the glass. Now here's Wheeler. Back to Laney. Pass to Achanwa. Shot clock at six. Pulls it. Mitchell, shots good. Chicago leading. Vandersloot outside. Dolson, defended by Achanwa. Fades back. Kept alive. Second shot opportunity. And so she earns a trip to the line. Official saw the contact, and she'll shoot two. That one on Wheeler. Well, a little contact is the least of Parker's worries. She doesn't mind playing physical. Shoot two. And 
and she knocks down the first one. Well, with a minute's increase in 2018, Parker rose to the occasion with increased output across the board. And so she makes both from the line. The fever trailing. Mitchell outside. Laney on the wing. Mitchell outside. Some solid defense from Cheyenne Parker. Yeah, she's been off her game this quarter. Just hasn't been able to get a whole lot to go down. Williams. The shot off that time. And Indiana will go the other way with it. They've come out with a take-no-prisoners approach on the glass today. I love to see that kind of effort. And it's already gotten them a plus-five margin in the rebound column. Vandersloot outside. Outside to Shields. Outside, Parker. Vandersloot outside. Back to Parker. Second chance shot, and it's good on the layup. A relentless attitude. Parker commits herself to the boards whenever she's on the court. To the paint. And the basket by Dupree. A nice conclusion to a good-looking possession. Coach has got to be happy about that one. Now here's Williams. Pass to Dolson. Boots over at Chanwa. Tries again. Kicks it out to DeShields. They shoot again. Mitchell grabs the board. This has not been a quarter to remember for her. I mean, what's going on right now? What is this? She's not making any sort of impact for them at that end of the court. Now here's Mitchell. She's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Mitchell outside. Over Parker. Up again. And it's Dolson with the rebound. Outside, Williams. Pass to Parker. To Shields. Vandersloot outside. Fires from deep. The Shields can't hit. They've been sensational on the boards to start this game. Yeah, sensational is a good word for it, Tim. That's good. You usually have the right word for these kinds of situations. Just tearing it up on the glass. How kind of you, Brian. Now a timeout called by Chicago. I think the coach has to be frustrated by their lack of production offensively. And I can't blame them. They're getting the looks, but the shots just aren't falling. And it's at the point where this slump is going to take a mental toll on them. It's a good timeout to try to keep them from getting too discouraged. And they've gotten the looks, they've gotten open, but they just can't get them to fall. making some changes here. Now Williams. Pass to Samuelson. Endor. Williams with it. Mitchell grabs the board. 
She is going to buy herself a ticket to the bench if she keeps shooting like she has this quarter so far. Johnson outside. And here is Mitchell. No scoring yet from her, but that's likely to change. And they're unable to get the tying basket there. And so it's Chicago with it. Inside, Endor. Terrific assist and a nice finish. Just a solid play all around. She placed that pass right out in front of her and just let her run into it. Mitchell outside. Some solid defense from Jontel Lavender. Pass to Copper. Samuelson, defended by Laney. Outside, Williams. The three ball. And Laney pulls it down. She's been ice cold, unable to contribute offensively. Let's the floater go. The second chance effort. And it's Lavender with the rebound. Tough D on the inside. Sure was. No easy access to the bucket when she's in the middle. Here's Williams. Ah, no good on the last second attempt there. And that does it for the first quarter. It's the sky. Up by four. And back in a moment as we'll get underway with quarter two. And now the second quarter just getting set to begin. And when you consider how the sky are doing, guys, what are your thoughts? Really hard work being put in from the glass uh, by them from the get-go. Yeah, everyone's done a great job boxing out for them here, and it's showing up on the stat sheet. Indiana trailing. Mitchell outside. Pass to McCowan. Laney, she gets that one. Fantastic dish from McCowan. Easy hoop for the team. Uh, love it when a center can move the ball. And when the topic of quality rebounders comes up, you got to start including Tierra McCowan in the conversation. Rebounding is an effort game, and she sure brings it every time she steps on the court. And the basket by Copper. They can't afford to give her that kind of look. Well, it came off a good screen, but still, as a defender, you have to fight over the top of it. And you need some help as well. Pass to Laney. Now McCowan. Mitchell outside. Six to shoot. That one off the back iron and out. Well, Bryant, we know McCowan is a force on the glass, but what allows her to be so effective? Well, she's adapted beautifully to the speed and physicality of the WNBA game because, let's be honest, it's not the same as college. She just has a sense for where the ball will bounce to, and that, to me, is called instincts. That is way too easy. The defenders are sort of looking at each other like, who was guarding her? Timeout called the Fever. Well, they want to tinker with the game plan a little bit, and now's the time to do it. Yeah, there was clearly some things going on out there that the coaching staff just wasn't a fan of. with it. 
quiet so far offensively, searching for first points of the game. Johnson. Kicks it out to Mitchell. Just five on the clock. Rebounded by Copper. They've been the glass eaters today, guys. Just a ton of effort out of them down low. And they've needed every one of those rebounds. That's what put them in front. Such a fierce competitor, even at under six feet, Quigley has the toughness to compete down low. Well, while some players blossom right away, others like Allie Quigley take a little bit of time. Didn't play much early on, but knew her moment would come someday. Shooting two. And the first one drops. And despite being patient early on in her career, Allie stays in attack mode all the time now. Yeah, she plays aggressive and looks for her shots. And with a chip on her shoulder, it's pretty hard to intimidate her. And she's just a player that uh, her teammates want her to pull the trigger. And that one falls, so she hits both of them. Well, she went from someone who didn't even play uh, 10 minutes a game to a player making all-star games. Allie Quigley, a great example of work and perseverance. Again, the miss by the fever. Chicago leading. Here's Copper. A chance there to push it to double digits, but it's off the mark. Some tough offensive sets, and they really want to turn it around. They got to lock in and need a basket just to regain some momentum. Well, one thing Tierra McCowan has seemingly always had is her height. She said she didn't always feel like she fit in growing up, but that's okay, Tierra, because you were born to stand out. First one falls for her. Well, we sure know about McCowan's elite size, Tim, but how exactly does that translate to the hardwood? Well, it's part of what helps her be a dominant rebounder as she battles other bigs down low. And don't forget about her shot blocking ability. She's always lurking around to make sure she can make a sound defensive play. And it's the sky ball. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. Pass to Samuelson. Here's Lavender, defended by Achanwa. Endor gets the bucket. She did so well to lead her teammate right to the ideal spot. That's the kind of playmaking coaches like to see. Now here's Wheeler. She hasn't scored yet. That, I'm sure, will change. To the inside. Achanwa can't get it to go. They are really getting the work done inside with their rebounding, Tim. They haven't allowed many second chances. It's been one and done for the most part, and that's helped them build this lead. Defensively, they're on their heels every time the ball comes inside. And if they don't start showing some aggression, things are just going to get worse. So both teams changing it up here. One shot. Shooting 100% in the quarter there, just taking full advantage at the line. Very nice job making the most of their opportunities. Now here's Johnson. The three is up. It's money from deep. That type of D, it's just not going to cut it. They got to get a hand in her face. Too good of a shooter. Pass to Quigley. Poked away. Here's Johnson. And it goes as the official calls the foul. 
count it, and she'll shoot one more at the line. And she's got her first opportunity at the line here tonight. Look, hitting your free throws is a great way to get back into it. It stops the clock, and it also extends the game. And they're shooting much better from the line here in the second quarter. Nailed every one so far. Now here's Lavender. She has five. Vander Sloot outside. From the line. McCowan with the rebound. Not pretty. Got to just uh, shake off a miss like that. Now here's Mitchell, guarded by Quigley. Vandersloot with the steal. And here we go, the sky pass break. Drops in the breakaway layup. I really like the fire that they're playing with now. They got off to a tough start there in the first quarter. Didn't shoot it particularly well, but they've played through it, which shows their resiliency. Now here's Mitchell. Six points for her. Shots good by Dupree. Finishes plays around the rim with a multitude of different moves. Dupree is definitely not a one-trick pony. Vandersloot with it, guarded by Wheeler. And it's good, two points. The teardrop is one of those, oh no, oh no, oh yes, shots. Mitchell outside. Johnson covered by DeShields. Pass to McCowan, clock at six. And she drops in the layup off glass. Well, this is where she's gonna make her money professionally. Six, seven, with touch. McCowan will score points in the paint for years. Now here's Vandersloot. McCowan with the rebound. If only she can improve on what's been a shaky day for her, they could really stretch this lead out, don't you think? Johnson can't get it to go. And so it's Chicago with it. They've led by as many as 11 points. Now here's Vandersloot, guarded by Wheeler. Here's Dolson. And the rebound goes to the Fever. Mitchell right side. Goes back up. Quigley with the steal. Shot from the wing. It's good. The assist that time from Diamond to Shields. Using A-plus awareness to find a wide-open teammate, to Shields doesn't mind distributing. Mitchell outside. Gets that one to drop. A rare make, bumping her up to three for ten. The second she got around the pick and shook her man, it was straight to the bucket for the easy deuce. Very well done. Now here's Quigley. Out of bounds, it'll be Fever Ball. Indiana trailing. Now here's Mitchell. She's got eight. Pass to Dupree, and she converts the layup. They're beginning to just fall apart defensively, especially on the interior. Yeah, they're crumbling like a cookie right now, and that's four straight field goals they've allowed from within touching distance of the rim. Good move to create a gap in the defense to get to the bucket for an easy two. Now Wheeler, still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game for her. He can't get it to go. Nice defense by Courtney Vandersloot. This game has been very close in a lot of areas, but rebounding is one thing that's gone in their favor. Yeah, effort and determination on the glass, they, they really can compensate for a lot of deficiencies. At the line for your Chicago Sky, Stephanie. 
The first free throw is good. 2017 was a breakout year for Stephanie Dolson. She shot 56% from the field, 44% from three-point land, and averaged almost 15 per game, making her second All-Star team. She's perfect from the line this time. So it's Indiana now. Seven point differential. Mitchell outside. Pass to McCowan. Here's Wheeler. Just five to shoot. From deep three point range, the rebound by the sky. Outside to Shields. Two points with a chance for one more at the line. Looks like they've shifted the approach away from trying the three ball. Yeah, they started out a little slow from there and uh, they're trying something different for now. What's up? Averaging over 14 points per game in her first season in the WNBA. DeShields entered the league with a bang. Now here's Mitchell. Eight points for her. McCowan. And she can't stop the run as that misses. They've got a big lead, not just on the scoreboard, but in the rebounding numbers, too. Yeah, it's been a gritty performance and a physical brand of basketball, but hey, that's how you win. Bring your lunch pail. Mitchell outside. Laney on the wing. Pass to Dupree. Wheeler lets it go. That's in. Coming off an assist from Candace Dupree. Veterans like Dupree usually have an advanced feel for the game, and that's part of what allows her to find her open teammates. Now here's the Shields. He has seven. Here's Parker. That one doesn't drop. Laney with some nice D. Outside Wheeler. Pass to McCowan. Mitchell up top. And it's blocked by Diamond to Shields. It hasn't been a very good day for her, guys, and her team really needs her desperately needs her to start burying those shots. Now here's Williams, and it's a three-second defensive violation. And so she hits the technical free throw. Parker. Here's Copper. The kick out to Williams. Shot clock at five. Pass to Dolson uses the glass to finish the layup. A myriad of moves and ways to score inside. Dolson is excellent close to the basket. And so we've reached the end of the first half of play. It's the sky. They lead by 13. And we will see you back here after the break for third quarter basketball in just a bit.
and welcome back as we begin the second half. So far, not a tightly contested game, but anything can happen. Yeah, look at Dolson. What a contribution. Well, I think it'll be important to see if they can stop her down in the second half because so far, they have not had any answer for her when she's down on the block. Yeah, maybe mixing up her looks, bumping her out, front her, double down, just do something to throw her off her rhythm. Welcome back to the start of the second half. Big margin on our hands, but we'll see if that gap narrows down in the final two quarters. Now here's Wheeler. Pass to Achanwa. Good work defensively by Stephanie Dolson. You know, I gotta say, I'm impressed with Anchanwa's development over the years. When Natalie's team's called on her, she's delivered, improving in nearly every category. She has quite the future. <laughs> and there's the whistle. That goes on Vanija Laney. That'll be her second foul of the game. Here's Quigley. Outside Parker. The Shields, defended by Laney, just for a shoot, and stolen by Dupree. Let's take a look at the turnover story for them, and it's not bad. Just a handful, and that good possession management is helping to drive their lead. Mitchell outside. Six to shoot. And stolen by Diamond to Shields. And she lays it up and in. Loves to get out and run. DeShields uses her quickness to burn defenders on the fast break. And of all the areas that Chanwa has improved in, I'm most impressed with the rebounding. Yeah, Natalie showed the urgency required to effectively clean up the glass. And that's something that takes some players uh, 10 plus years to get that down. Achanwa also improved her footwork and timing, and I think those two will take her a long way. Now here's Parker. She's got six. And here's the Shields. Shot clock at six. Let's lose for three. They get it again. Here's Dolson. Kicks it out to DeShields. Dupree grabs the board. Outside Wheeler. Pass to Achanwa. And it's blocked by Stephanie Dolson. A tremendous shot blocker. Dolson's length at 6'5 and defensive IQ lead the Swats. A shot by Mitchell, no good. Man, and they're one for four to start the second half. Now here's Vandersloot. Outside Parker. Pass to DeShields. Tries to break her ice. Great D that time from Candace Dupree. They really want to find that igniter here. That's right, their offense is ground to a standstill. Maybe you need to suit up, Tim. They need a spark. Now here's Mitchell. She's got eight. Laney with it. Vandersloot defending. And Dupree picks up the foul. That's her first foul. They have a really solid lead at this point. Definitely on the other side, really not much resistance put up. Left side to shield. A little under two and a half minutes off the clock now in the third quarter. it from three-point range. I'm sure that's a load off her mind after not hitting a single three-pointer in the first half. Pass to Dupree. Johnson. Here's Wheeler. Floats one. Shanwa controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. 
a huge part of her game, the O-board. Achunwa has finished top three in the league in offensive rebounding. De Shields with it. Lavender outside. Pass to Vandersloot. Back to Lavender. Quigley, he's covered by Mitchell. And again, it's the sky from deep. Easily over 40% from three-point land the last couple of seasons. Quigley is an elite shooter. You can't let her get going. Now here's Wheeler. Now Dupree, covered by DeShields. Achanwa, good. Perfect screen there. Set her up with a terrific look. Yeah, but that's a bad job by the defender to not fight through that screen to contest. You want to see more effort there. Here's Lavender. She's got five. Pass to Vandersloot. Solid play on the low block, and that one's good. Figuring out ways to score inside at 5'8". Vandersloot has multiple ways to finish. And here is Wheeler, guarded by Quigley. And here's Achanwa. And she uses the glass on the layup. And after a scoreless first half, she's come to life here in the second half. Time, time called out, here. Out. The Sky decided to talk it over. making substitutions here. Williams, she's covered by Mitchell. Pass to Samuelson. Endor. Now Lavender. It's stolen by McCowan. Mitchell outside. Five to shoot. Puts up a three. It's hauled in by Williams. Plus eight in the rebound differential. Uh, one more reason they have absolutely just controlled this game. Yeah, double digit advantage on the scoreboard. They've taken the initiative for sure. And it started out with the rebounding. It sets a tone. Pass to McCowan. Now here's a Chanwa. Wheeler. Poked away. Mitchell outside. Four on the shot clock. No good from outside. Some of the shots she's taken today have been absolute head scratchers. She's out there playing like it's a game of horse, and it's not. Erica Wheeler with the steal. And it's the fever on the break. Back to Mitchell. Yep, that one goes. Intelligent passing to make that basket possible. Williams with it. And 
fouled hard that time, and she'll get two shots at the line. It's going to go on Tierra McCowan. At the line for your Chicago Sky, Gavin Williams. Two, two shots. shots. And she can't get the first one. And she's good on the second. And here's Indiana. They trail by 16. Pass to Mitchell. Achanwa fades and shoots. That's in there. Kelsey Mitchell with the assist. We've seen an obvious improvement out of her since halftime, and she just didn't really have a whole lot working for her in the first half. Now here's Williams. Here's Copper. Now here's Lavender, guarded by Wheeler. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's Williams. McCowan with the rebound. Mitchell outside. Pass to Wheeler. Mitchell outside. Achanwa. Launches it. And Kelsey Mitchell gets the three. She has really deep range. Mitchell's offensive game starts with that three-point shot. It forces defenders to pick her up at half court. Now here's Williams. Here's Samuelson. She's covered by Mitchell. Pass to Endor. Here's Copper. Parked down low that time and got hit with the three-second call. And the Fever making a change here. Here's Wheeler. Pass to Laney. And here's Achanwa. Inside. No good there, and that would have cut it to single digits. And so it's Chicago with it. 17 points was their biggest margin, and the shot goes in. Showing her skills in the paint. Remember, Samuelson has those guard kind of abilities, but she's still 6'3", still has great height. Here's Wheeler. Another shot. The shot that time not on target. Good work defensively by Stephanie Dolson. Outside, Williams. Here's Copper, guarded by Wheeler. Six on the shot clock. Elbow shot on the way. McCowan with the rebound. It appeared as though the spin left her a, a little dizzy, and I think that may have been what threw her off. I like the aggression there. Yeah, hitting the offensive boards hard. And as we end the third quarter, a double-digit deficit will make it tough to come back. Sky out in front. They're up by 11. And we're coming back in just a moment. Get ready for the fourth quarter of action when we return. And let's take this opportunity to show you our State Farm assist of the game. I'm so happy we get to see this pass just one more time. A magnificent feed. You love to see the two uh, kind of taking over the playmaking duties with this much skill. Yeah, that is some dime dropping, guys. Accurate and on time. And thanks again for joining us. We'll see what happens in the fourth. Now here's Dolson. To the paint, Parker 
So the whistle blows on the shot. Two free throws for the contact there. It's going to go on Tierra McCowan. Not afraid to bump and bruise down low. Parker is fearless around the rim. Two shots. And she makes the first. And she makes the first, but misses the second. Laney outside. Pass to Wheeler. Now here's Mitchell. Back to Wheeler. McCowan. Yes, and a nice assist from Erica Wheeler. Just really good awareness right there on the assist. And so it's Chicago with it. 10-point lead. Outside Williams. Here's Samuelson, and a foul called on the shot. Got her on the way up that time, so she'll shoot two. Well, guys, I think Katie Lou Samuelson is certainly a player who competes with a chip on her shoulder. Growing up as the youngest sibling with two sisters who played collegiate basketball, she was determined to be the best of the three. The first one falls. And Samuelson, not a player you have to fire up before games. Why is that, Brian? Well, my name's Tim. We've only done a million games together. But anyway, she's a fearless as they come. I mean, Katie Lou has played in some big time games, played through pain. No matter what, Samuelson wants to be there for her team. That's the mentality that every rookie in the league should have. Well, guys, Katie Lou Samuelson is a player who has certainly endured her fair share of injuries. In college, she dealt with it all, whether it was a broken foot, a sprained ankle, or an injured back. Now here's Mitchell. Shot clock at six. Shoots from 12. And it's Dolson with the rebound. Rehabbing from injury is never easy, Brian, but Samuelson has never been one to give up. Can you elaborate on that mindset? Come into rehab every day with a tough mindset. Throughout it all, she has remained unbreakable as she knows there's nothing that she can't get through. Now here's Williams. Out to the left wing. Here's Samuelson. Defended by Achanwa. Outside Quigley. Parker. Yes, and it's Allie Quigley picking up the assist. Quick and agile. Parker can do damage in the pick and roll. Here's Wheeler. Makes it off the glass. Now Quigley. Just under two and a half minutes gone by now in the final quarter. Dolson in the post. She's covered by Mitchell. Back to Williams. Shot clock at two. Shoots over Wheeler. Williams can't get it to go. Well, thus far, they managed to overcome an off game from her offensively. On offense, here are the sky. Outside, Quigley. 
Pass to Dolson. Second shot opportunity. The basket drops, and she gets fouled on the shot. One free throw coming up for her. And in the NBA, we've seen a huge Canadian influence with the Raptors winning the 2019 Finals. Multiple first overall picks from up north as well. And in the WNBA, are, are we seeing a Canadian wave as well, Brian? Well, Blake, Canada has put lots of resources into basketball. We're seeing that with women's hoops, too. You know, Kia Nurse is one of the young stars, winning some national titles in college, and has performed real well in the WNBA. And Natalie Unchunwa was a top 10 pick like Nurse as well. She's come into her own in the professional game after she also won a national championship in college. I'm expecting to see more Canadian players in the WNBA in coming years. Ali Quigley drives in, lays it up, and banks it in. So much work has gone into her game to become an all-star. Quigley's most improved skill, handles. It's helped her immensely. Timeout called the fever. They could tell their players were dragging a bit and called timeout to let them catch their breath. Wheeler drives in. Misses off the left iron. Vandersloot outside. Parker gets the bucket. She has shot the ball exceptionally well as they've built this lead for themselves. Outside Dupree. Pass to Laney. Achanwa. Outside Wheeler. Dupree with it. Yes, and a nice assist from Erica Wheeler. A spark on offense. Dupree's love for the game is what pushes her to be the player we see today. Now here's Vandersloot. On the wing, Allie Quigley. And stolen by Dupree. Mitchell outside. Shoots from 12. And no good. So Chicago will take it the other way. They've shown some strength in the paint. Their work on the boards has been phenomenal. Yeah, and that's putting it mildly, guys. They've been absolutely dominant. And her hard work on the boards gave them another crack at the points there. Now here's Wheeler. Laney outside. Pass to Achanwa. Mitchell. Goes up at the elbow. That shot, no good. That's a shot she's got to hit. You don't get too many better looks from that range. She's a very strong finisher, guys. I'm surprised that she wasn't able to power that through the defense. Good on the bucket. You'll see her hit from very deep, but, but she isn't a one-trick pony. 
Mitchell has the skills plus toughness to score inside too. Now here's Vandersloot. Here's Quigley. She can't get that one to fall. That's some good D by Kelsey Mitchell. Back to Wheeler. Pass to Laney. Dupree with it, covered by DeShields. Clock at four. Shot by Mitchell, no good. With the prospect of making a big lead even bigger. They should jump at this chance. Stretch that lead out as much as possible. It's been all about tempo and pace with them, and it's led them to a big advantage in fast break points. It's a big reason they're in front, Tim. All that early offense, when they've had the chance to push it, they've pushed and it. And this is a team that loves to go up and down the floor, Brian, and we love to watch it. Now here's Wheeler. Pass to Dupree. Mitchell. For three. Bullseye! Nails it! A wide open three. They need much better communication defensively. Outside Parker. Now Dolson. Vandersloot guarded by Wheeler. Rebounded by the Fever. They needed that rebound. They've struggled on the boards overall, but still have a chance. Yeah, they've made enough plays to keep it close, and they're still in it. Now here's Wheeler. To the middle. And the basket by Dupree. Well, she, for one, hasn't let them down, but a few of her teammates need to pick up the pace and pick it up fast. Here's Vandersloot. On the wing, Allie Quigley. And it comes off the front of the rim. A real defensive lapse there. She's not a player you can leave open for a jump shot. They're lucky she didn't punish them there. Don't need much range to hit from that distance. And if they want, they can milk the clock a little bit here. Great point, Blake. That'd be the best option. I'd agree. You should coach. <laughs> now here's Vandersloot. Down low. Dolson. And the officials whistle a foul on the shot. The bucket's good, and she'll go to the line. Wheeler. Pass to Laney. Here's a Chanwa. And here's Kelsey Mitchell for three. And the fever hit again from deep. Little defense won't stop Mitchell. You don't make all rookie and average double figures your first year without making the hard ones. Xander Sloot outside. Left side, Quigley. Pass to Vander Sloot. Four three. Debris grabs the board. Outside, Wheeler gets it down to single digits. And you've got to think a basket here would seal it. No question. That would be all she wrote, and what a, what a story she wrote. Well, what was the story? I don't know. Now here's Quigley. Pass to Dolson. The Shields. Just five on the clock. From deep. Shot will not fall. Well, this game's finally gotten away from them. It has. There's not really anything they can do. After defending the shot, she didn't quit on that play. Followed it straight to the glass for the rebound. Now here's Vandersloot, guarded by Wheeler. 
And here is Vandersloot. So it's Chicago picking up the win. A confident win and one where they clearly showed the greater effort. And they put on a show here at home. I think they had and felt like they had the edge and that extra confidence. And that's a wrap, everyone.